What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pansis. If it's your first time tuning in, please be sure to smash that subscribe button. If not, thanks for your continued support. Today we're going to go into three major things that I dislike about my Jaguar XF. This, this model year started in 2016 and they made it all the way out in this spec to 2020. And then of course in 2021, they did do a facelift and an interior update on this car. So this this video really pertains from 2016 all the way to 2020. So if you guys are looking to buy one of these or have one of these, drop a comment below. Maybe you agree with me, maybe you disagree. Either way, make sure to share your feedback in the comment section. If not, thanks for giving this video a like because obviously if you guys give this video a like, that helps me out as well. So uh, let's hop into this. There's a lot more things that I like about this car than I dislike. So before I hop in and just start ripping this thing apart, I do want you to know that going into this. So I will not be biased. I'm going to be blunt, but um, know that I do like this car. So let's hop into it. So before we really actually start, for those that already follow me or follow me on Instagram, you guys can check out my Instagram, at Kyle Pantsis, um, that follow me. Um, we've done some modifications to the car. We've done the intake system. We've done the pulley kit. And um, I'm thinking potentially of doing some more updates and upgrades as we go. But at the moment, I'm not doing anything quite yet because um, track season's starting and I'd rather do more track stuff. Um, then up make this car faster than it already is. I mean this thing has just about 400 horsepower So check out some of the videos that we've done on this video in the playlist. We've done a dab uh, a draggy app uh, 0 to 60 quarter mile time and relatively speaking this thing is pretty quick It's uh, 0 to 60 in the four seconds uh, range in the four to five second range I'm sure the times that I have slotted there could be better uh, but regardless It's got a lot of power It sounds freaking sexy so um, all right so without further ado let's hop into a couple things that I really truly dislike about this car okay so the first thing that I truly dislike about this car um, this I guess this is what differentiates like a Jaguar from like a Mercedes or a BMW even though I'm sure they fall guilty of some of this maybe not so much mercedes but definitely beamer the material on the inside door panel this here is uh this is leather wrapped here which is fine it, 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 it is a fake leather though this is a fake leather yeah just saying and then the door cards everything is just pure plastic uh which is normal in today's world of cars but up here i mean they could have done some better work on making that feel a little bit more luxury um, and a little bit more plush. Now, granted, some of this stuff, like I might have just mentioned, may be due to some of the trim levels that they manufactured this car in. Maybe this is the lower model. In fact, I know it is uh, in terms of interior trims. It doesn't have the updated or upgraded uh, electronic uh, system here for the uh, radio, but that's but that's not something I dislike. This functions really well. Um, and of course I can update that and upgrade it if I so want it to be. But in terms of trim levels, I don't believe this is the highest end model, but granted this does feel cheap all the way around. And when people close the door, you can kind of tell uh, that it doesn't have the best quality finish. Um, but look, looking at it aesthetically, I mean, looking at that door card from here, Take out this towel because we were washing some of the salty cars earlier. Uh, this it looks good, right? It looks kind of sexy. It looks sleek. It looks you know pretty modern in here. And um, so um, so yeah, that's that's the first thing I truly dislike um, in terms of the buttons that go along with that. They do okay. The buttons feel really good. Um, 
The buttons feel really good. Uh, the climate system here, the touch screen, everything is relatively responsive. There's a slight, slight delay. Sometimes when it's like really cold outside, that does have a slight delay to it as well. But in terms of like the button qualities, like eh, they did a good job. So really, really just the door cards there. So the number one thing is the materials there. Number two, number two is the steering wheel. Uh, most of the things that we're talking about today have a lot to do with touch. Now this steering wheel is leather wrapped, it feels decent, but it doesn't have the handle grips at the two o'clock and 10 o'clock positions that I enjoy driving a car with. So all of my other cars have it and this car does not have it. And I did look for a steering wheel upgrade on this car and unfortunately the color came in wrong. It came in a different tone. I thought it was the same color based on the pictures. But uh, in this case, the only way for me to really change that on this car and this spec is to probably just get a black one. And they were like another thousand bucks. And that, you know, a thousand bucks for upgrades, thousand bucks here, thousand bucks there. It's like three grand to change all this stuff. And it's, listen, not a lot of money. It's just, you know, priorities, you know, I'd rather buy, rather go on the track, just saying, rather go on the track. So anyways, that's for me personally. And then the third thing, that I truly dislike about this car is the seats. These seats are paper thin. Uh, again, this, this could have something to do with the trim level once again, but the seats are paper thin. They don't have the, the best bolstering and they don't hug you well. You f I feel like I'm sitting on a bench seat and here we are in a car that MSRP is for $65,000. You would think that the seats hug you and support your back a little bit more. And in this case, this car, I don't even think this car even has a lumbar support. And in fact, now that I'm actually looking for it, it does not have a lumbar support. Okay, that's, that's pretty crappy, guys. That is really, really, really crappy. So those those are the three major things that I dislike. Uh, the back seat though is good, however. The back seat, you know what? Let's make this four things that I dislike about this car. I just thought of a fourth one. I'm sorry, we're doing this a little bit live, but the back trunk, all right? Two things in the back trunk. We're gonna put it as one category. Trunk space is limited. And then if you guys look here at these pull tabs to put the seats fat down, if I push this, that seat is not released when I go around to uh, pull it down, okay? You need to actually hold this and push the seat at the same time, which is a stupid freaking design, because if you're alone, there's no way that I can physically pull this and push that forward. Doesn't make any sense. So just to show you, locked so pretty pretty stupid jaguar pretty stupid or whoever's making this tata who designed it ford who are you which one can i blame it's either tata ford or the brits i don't know anyways those are the four things that i truly dislike about this car now i'm sure that there's more but uh, relatively speaking I enjoy the drive of this car. I enjoy the power this car has. It is smooth on the highway. It looks pretty sexy in the front. The back, eh, back could be changed a little bit, but it's fine. The front of the car in particular, it looks really sexy. It's got some really nice lines and it's aggressive looking. And of course the car is a luxury sedan. So when I'm driving on the highway, it runs like a luxury sedan. It's smooth. You can be going, you know, really fast and not really know it. So that's kind of cool. And uh, that's it guys. I hope hope you guys take this to heart. If you're gonna look at one of these cars, these are a th these are four things that you can truly live with. Like for me, I'm never, you know, I, I wouldn't get rid of the car because of any of these four things. And uh, some of them, like I mentioned, could be changed and upgraded if you so choose to want to spend the money. So that is the, that is it guys. That's all I got for you on this car today. The four things that are either dumb or dislike about this car. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me at Kyle Pants on Instagram. And if you guys have any questions, please be sure to drop.